I always get the question, why does the science say high velocity pitchers do this, low velocity pitchers do this, when all pitchers are different? How is it possible that all the high velocity pitchers are doing the same thing? That's because we actually are all the same. And how are we the same? We all have two legs, two arms, a head, and a body. And because of that, there's only certain ways we can all together do things. Like there's only a certain path that we can take with these bodies to get a result like throwing 100 miles per hour. That's why the studies say high velocity pitchers all do something really well and the low velocity pitchers all do something not as effective. Now we are different when it comes into the details, right? Like I am a bigger, longer limbs. I have tighter hips, tighter tissue. I'm slower, fast. All those things make a difference within the same body. But at the end of the day, that's why the studies can say we all do the same thing at an elite level because we're pretty much in the same bodies. But the differences are important, but you got to look at it the same across the board when it comes to training and pitching mechanics. When you train, you wanna train the same. Everyone should work on mobility, should work on strength, speed, power, and mechanics. But when you get really good, you should, should then start focusing on your differences. Hey, my hips are a little bit tighter than his, so I need to do a little bit more specific stuff on my hips. Or I'm a little bit slower than him, I need to do a little bit more work on my speed. That's where the differences come in. So coaches make the mistake when they try to train the differences right up front and they lay it out, all the programs different. But at the end of the day, we're more the same as pitchers then we are different. So you really, really, really need to get in a good training approach that gives you a good foundation, a good format, what the high velocity pitchers do to train elite.